a jolt of modernization for America's sagging infrastructure. These are the first Chinese subway cars to ride the rails in the U.S. Chinese rail giant CRRC won contracts worth just over a billion dollars to build 404 new carriages for Boston. Xiany Jiang has been working on the project for two and a half years at the company's new facility in Boston's suburbs. He feels this is just the beginning of the firm's involvement in America. They are ready to provide the service for the United States, and uh, they are ready to provide the best vehicle for the state as well. So uh, believe us, we can provide the best vehicle, we can provide the best, no best technology for the United States. Massachusetts's governor was on hand to inspect the new carriages as they made their debut. This deal represents a major Chinese investment for the state. These first cars were constructed in Changchung, but the rest will be built by U.S. workers at CRC's newly finished assembly plant nearby. As will more than 100 subway cars destined for Philadelphia, Los Angeles and Chicago over the next few years. So this collaboration that we see here is a really win-win for both. It's exciting for us. Um, it's a great uh, collaboration, not only in the way we're manufacturing the trains, but also in the way we're providing the maintenance and the service uh, for developing those plans. Boston having America's oldest subway system, dating back to 1897, people here feel it's time for renovation. The commuter rail is not dependable, uh, especially in the winter and everybody depends on it. So, yes, overhaul. New cars would always be a good idea, I'd say. Um, I think there's some systemic issues with the track and the, the way the stations are built that aren't built for the volume they were expecting. But as far as adding capacity to the current train, uh, number of trains that we have, definitely positive. The first fleet of cars should be hitting the tracks by the end of this year, with Boston's rollout spread over the next six years. The arrival of these rail cars in the first of four major American cities is a significant milestone. It seems the American and Chinese railroad relationship is on track to help improve the country's aging infrastructure. Nick Harper, CGTN, Boston.